I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had oh, to use thanks. the Thanks. Girls always use that excuse. Oh, get, excuse off. get for lost. What? For whatever you're up to, your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Yeah, hey, typical school cop, action. you cuck. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, no! I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Report Nathan! He had a gun! I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Girl came in. Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Oh boy. Squirrel! Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. This day has been so insane. Everything is yeah. happening too fast. So it looks like hey, it's Obi-Wan. None of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So rewind. There has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Okay, so are you gonna chill there? Come on, so come on, we're burning daylight. Stella! I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. How do you do that? Oh. Hello. Are we ready to see, Shirley? Hope so. Oh, 
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Sure. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real news. Rachel Amber. What happened to her? So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Yeah. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's a good posture. Uh, okay. Don't we have somewhere to go? Watch him draw like a fucking stick figure. I don't know, Warren seems like a creep to- Oh. Best portrait ever. Give him a hug. Okay. Will have consequences. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Oh, the dude seems cool. Evan! Talk to me, bro! Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his- Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? I don't fucking know. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But you should know the difference. Uh, wrong answer. Yeah, no. I don't care that much. Bro. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Just oh. Hi, Max. Oh. How are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I don't think you want to. I think you're better to. off reading chiclet. You're right! Point. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I don't want to talk to you. You're a bitch. Samuel? Well, hello there. No, ah, ah, ah! You look busy. You look busy, Samuel. Well, I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping, then painting windows. I don't like him. Just don't paint over the posters for Rachel Amber. You can't color over that sunlight. See you later. Bye. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Uh, no, I don't like. Don't like him. Is that Warren? That's Zachary. He looks like a Zachary. All right, where is her dorm? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's Logan. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I could. 
Be a bitch to him. Okay. Don't no, fuck off. Bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Yeah, whatever. No, bro. <laughs> okay. So they're in the fucking way! So maybe I do gotta talk to them. Get the fuck away from me. Maybe I go up that ladder. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Fuck off. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Yeah, get out of my way. The Daguerrean process, sir. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> That's nice. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Capiche? I can't rewind so I don't have to talk to her. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, I thought I saw it. Okay. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Oh god. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Then use it. Okay, now I'll rewind. Sweet. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my water. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Wait, may I may I go through now? I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Yeah, back up, Samuel. Okay, let's see if this works. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Paint bucket next to Victoria. I see a plan. <laughs> Raw. What if I move the ladder? I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay, let's see if this works. Do you understand English? Get lost. Get lost. Nice, bro. Oh. 
No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria? Oh, Sam, you're sorry. Mm -hmm. Wet pain is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Sweet. Nice. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Yeah, fuck her. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed yeah. before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. No. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Eh, yeah, fuck her. She deserved it. Fred from room 217. No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Juliet, extreme reporter. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Our campus observe the following to yeah, yeah, yeah. Do do. The fuck is what is that? At least that's an alarm from this century. They live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, bang for Jesus. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Gandhi. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? When it comes to spreading your environment, it's up to you to make a choice. Come raise your voice, either. What's with the tits, though? What's weird? Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. There we go. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Yeah, draw some. Ha! <laughs> ah, yes, I feel that. I feel that so hard. Home sweet home. The winger My and the cow. Cocoon. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I'll borrow your dress so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told told some tall tales about Blackwell Honor Student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge. That he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Are you fucking kidding me? Here's my go-to source for instant fo Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Juliet Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Oh, <sighs> Dolly, what a fantastic Sorry. eye. He could truly freeze time. So what is this like? If you're a special photographer, you can do that? That's the only tour. That was a good hockey game and oh, yeah. a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Hmm. Oh, 
Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier-Bresson, do I know? Hamilton, the greatest. Can I just go to sleep instead? Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. Yes. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <laughs> you can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, God. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What'd she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ooh. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What an asshole. What's my last name? Uh, Olsen. Juliet. Ju Juliet Olsen. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Note to Max. It pays to remember names. Oh, they didn't remember her fucking name! Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've watched... Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Right. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. Would Dana do that? How do you know? How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she's fucking Zachary Zach, Zach is fucking hell. playing football out there. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Let's see. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Hurry, 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 hurry! This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I was waiting for, for whatever the fuck her name is to be on the other side, like, FUCK! Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zach? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. <laughs> You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. 
You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Okay. Yes, I'm coming. It takes longer I take. On my way. Bye. Where's Zach? Fuck this shit. Get lost, hipster. Damn, I better rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Oh! Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Hi, horror. Hope you enjoyed. Tipic, it's your last one. Tipic. My petty ass would write, Yes, I am enjoying Tipic. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Yeah, you fuck can't it. Fool me. Apparently I need I proof for every fucking thing. School, I cover the waterfront, so you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Ah, uh, shit. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> 